Now let us study about isotopes. Let me represent the isotopes of hydrogen. Hydrogen with atomic number 1, mass number 1. Next, hydrogen with atomic number 1, mass number 2. Here, the isotopes of hydrogen are represented. H11, H12, H13. That is, the three hydrogen atoms are same. They are having the same atomic numbers, but they are having different mass numbers. This is called as protium. This is called as deuterium. And this is called as tritium. So these are the three isotopes of hydrogen. Now I have represented its mass number and atomic number here. Here, atomic number 1, mass number 1. Here, atomic number is 1, mass number is 2. Here, atomic number is 1, mass number is 3. Now let us see proton, electron and neutron in it. How many protons will be there? one proton. How many electrons will be there? One electron. How many neutrons will be there? Mass number minus atomic number. That is one minus one is equal to zero. Here also same way. Atomic number is one. So proton is equal to one. Electron is equal to one. Then how many neutrons will be there? Two minus one. 2 minus 1, you get 1 neutron. Here, proton will be equal to 1. Electron also will be equal to 1. Then neutron is equal to mass number minus atomic number. You get 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So what is different in these three cases? The mass number is different because the number of neutrons are different. In protium, there is no neutron in the nucleus of the atom. In deuterium, there is only one neutron in the nucleus of the atom. And in tritium, there are two neutrons in the nucleus of the atom. So, these are the same atoms because their atomic number is the same. So, atoms of the same element having same atomic number but different mass number because the number of neutron is different is called as isotopes. So isotopes are atoms of the same element. They will have same chemical properties and slight change in physical properties and same atomic number. But what is different? Mass number is different because the number of neutrons is different. You can see protium is the atom which is not having any neutron in the nucleus. So these are the isotopes of hydrogen. Most of the elements which we see around consist of isotopes. Now we have the isotopes of oxygen represented there. Now look here, O815, O816, O817. These are the three isotopes of oxygen. They are having the same atomic number. What is different? The mass number is different. Now let us write and see. Here atomic number is 8. Here atomic number is 8. Here also atomic number is 8. Mass number. Here it is 15. Here it is 16. Here it is 17. Number of protons will be equal to atomic number. So it is 8. Here 8. Here also 8. Number of protons and electrons are equal. So 8, 8, 8. Now we want to find the number of neutron. Number of neutrons you get by minusing atomic number from mass number. That is mass number minus atomic number. 15 minus 8 you get 7. Now here mass number minus atomic number. 16 minus 8 you get 8. Here 
17 minus 8 you get 9. So, here these isotopes are differing in their mass number because the number of neutrons are different. Now, let us see how we represent isotopes. These are isotopes of carbon. Carbon atomic number 6 mass number 12. Here carbon atomic number 6 mass number 13 and carbon atomic number 6 mass number 14. This we represent by writing its name and the mass number in the front carbon 12. This is written as carbon 13 and this is written as carbon 14. So, this is how we represent isotopes. Now, next we have to study the uses of isotopes. Just look here deuterium the isotope of hydrogen is used in atomic reactors. Carbon 14 the isotope of carbon it is used to determine the age of fossils and prehistoric objects. Phosphorus 31 it is used as tracer for identifying the nutrient exchange in plants. Iodine 131 and cobalt 60 are used in medical field for diagnosis and treatment of ailments like cancer and tumor. And uranium 235, it is used as a fuel in atomic reactors. So, these are the uses of isotopes. So, in this lesson, I think that you have understood a structure of the atom. But after that also scientists experimented and researched to find more deep into the atom and various new ideas have been given which you will study in your higher classes. Thank you children.